it's Rob and uh, I got a special little surprise for you. I'm gonna show you how to make one of these. It is a fully adjustable flame lantern. I got a couple of these uh, cheap plastic lanterns from a big box store. I don't know which one in particular but it was a couple years ago and they had these and I thought they looked cool but uh, the effect that they have is really lame. So what I want to do is I want to take these apart and take the insides out and put in these. These are flame lights. They're actually the inside of these flame lights that you can get. I think I got these on Amazon. Um, they are, these are the kind that plug into a normal outlet, but on the inside what happens is they have this little power supply and that power supply turns out to be 12 volts and I am trying to convert all of my haunt props over to uh, 12 volts DC so that I can run them from a battery or you know a power supply and just in case I want to go portable with it anywhere or if I want to run it offline off grid uh, so I'm gonna try and take these apart and see if I can make them better yeah, first thing that I did when I was looking at these is how they're put together. There are, uh, looks like four screws that are hidden down in here. So this is picking up where I left off yesterday. I was running into a problem trying to get this mounted in such a way that it was both diffused and uh, solid enough to be mounted inside the this little plastic uh, lantern-y shaped thing. 
Uh, I want it to be in here like this and preferably straight up and down and uh, I was having difficulty with it. Um, I tried wrapping this with uh, plastic from plastic bags. It ended up not working very well and just for the heck of it I decided to try something. This is the casing for these lights and as it turns out it fits in there just about perfectly. Um, there's also something I found that's kind of interesting is when this fits in the uh, in the lantern itself this sticks out enough so that it doesn't go past the bottom but you could theoretically put a lamp socket on here and have this sitting you know you drill a hole in, in something and have a lamp socket sitting in here so you could use these just as is with the regular lights if you just take out this bottom the bottom piece but what I'm going to do a little bit different uh, yep. I am going to mount these in here with some clear epoxy I'll just put some clear epoxy down on the bottom this has got kind of a, a donut half a donut shape to it so it sits in there in just about the perfect place and the diffuser is meant to be used with this it's a good distance away it's just about the the perfect distance when I can see it's perfectly shaped and it fits so why not This is the epoxy that I got. I just picked it up at the hardware store when I was there. It's a clear 30 minute epoxy. Uh, essentially sets up in 30 minutes, cures overnight. So I'm going to put this in tonight. I've got two of these that I'm going to do. And uh, I guess we'll see tomorrow. Okay, it's the next day. And these have uh, cured rather nicely. You can see they're in there pretty good. They are not at all coming out. Uh, let's see if I can power one of these up quick. Show you what it looks like. So, you know, it's not perfect, but for my uses, I think that looks uh, much better than the originals, and I think that's going to be just fine for what we need. Right, so I have two of these that I'm going to be doing. Uh, right now, just doing it one step at a time. Thing. These pieces right here uh, on the bottom that stick out are blocked by the outer rim of this. Now there's two ways to go about this. You can either cut these off or cut these. Either way, uh, it's not going to make much difference. I'm probably going to take these off because I don't think I'm ever going to use these again in any way that this would be necessary. So I'm just going to break these off. Something I probably could have gone into a little bit um, 
if you look carefully, there's enough room inside these little side pieces here so that you can run wiring and bring it out the top. There's two little holes on the side where these join that are open. So this is a great place to run wires out. Uh, this is where I'm planning on running my wires um, because I'm planning on having these hanging and I want to be able to power them from above rather than having them sit on something that's powered. And one of the nice things about this is there's enough space in this bottom that if you wanted to put in a battery pack, say made with uh, uh, rechargeable 18650s or something like that, it would be relatively easy to do. I mean, there's plenty of room in here, and honestly, these are, these could be uh, powered for quite some time on a set of batteries. You should probably find out how low they can go. Let's do that. Alright, I don't know if you can see or not, but I got this one mounted a little bit crooked in here. I don't know that it's worth changing. I don't think it is. Alright, so, oops, lost power. Alright, this is running at 12 volts right now. I'm going to start decreasing the voltage. That's at 9 volts. It's still running. That's at seven volts. Yeah, that's starting to get. That's six volts. Wow. That's impressive. That's 5.1. <laughs> okay, this is actually kind of cool. Yeah, all right. 5.5 is barely visible. But that's, that's wild. Okay. So these things are actually kind of impressive. They, they've got quite a wide range of, uh, of voltages. I didn't realize that they were even dimmable, but that's, uh, that's kind of exciting. give you an idea of what the flame looks like in the lantern. Bring up some of the background light a little bit. And it's not completely convincing, but honestly for these little uh, cheapy plastic lanterns, that's pretty good. And considering my use, I mean, it's absolutely perfect. So I'm pretty happy with these. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Oh, hey, it's Rob. Uh, yeah, this was supposed to end a little differently. Um, the idea was these lanterns are supposed to be held by these guys, by the Reaper statues. Uh, unfortunately, I'm finding that the Posen Stay part of the Posen Stay skeletons is not uh, conducive to <laughs> holding uh, holding anything up. So I mean, I'm I'm trying to add wire to give it strength and things like that, but uh, nothing I've been doing is working. And my other one uh, had a little issue where it uh, kind of broke and dropped the lantern and cracked it, so yeah, I gotta do a little bit more fixing before these are really done. But anyway, I'm gonna try and get them done before Halloween. Uh, so I'll just show this to you now. You can do with them as you see fit. Hopefully, you know, you get some ideas from this and can have a little bit more fun. So, all right, see you guys later.